Well, our bread's ready to bake. First loaf is on the other side. I'm going to have to turn this around. I really need a flipping board for this, but I don't have one. So I will be doing the best that I can. That wasn't too bad. Okay. I put in a new sharp blade because this is wet sticky dough and it's going to need the sharp blade. And I'm going to dip it in water just to make sure it doesn't stick. But it might stick anyway. So. Go ahead and bake this loaf. I heat the oven to 500 for about an hour to make sure the stone is thoroughly heated all the way through. And then after putting in the loaf, I'll be turning it down to 450 degrees. And that's for the first 15 minutes. It's time to take out, take off the roasting lid from the first loaf. Oh my goodness. Like that was slightly underproofed. We'll have to let the next one proof a little longer. We'll put that on for 20 more minutes. Let's see how our loaf is doing. Well, that came out really nice. The, um, let me put this back here. Turn the oven back up to 500. Um, the reason that this split here was because it was underproofed. So what we're going to do is allow the next loaf to proof a bit longer. Seems like our second loaf is ready to bake. This has been a little bit hard to tell with this bread. It's been a bit sticky. You see how it's filling in slowly? The indent stays, but it's filling in slowly. That indicates that it should be ready. The last one wasn't though, so we'll see what happens with this one. dipped in water again. Pop that into the oven. First 15 minutes is up. Just go ahead and take the lid off. Oh, that looks much better. Put that back in for another 15 minutes. Here's the finished loaf. There's 
sheet. The loaf is very light and fluffy. It's got a great crust. It's got some huge holes in it. I'm kind of cutting it backwards so I can face the camera. Here's the second loaf just out of the oven. We still need to put the third loaf in. Dip this in some water. Okay, put it in the oven. Here's loaf number three. Very nice, beautiful color. There's a tira loaf. The nice, rich color comes from the 60% mother dough, which was fermented in the refrigerator for five days. The dough was a little sticky and hard to handle because I also added a little bit of rye for color and flavor. The crumb came out really well. It's um, it's a custardy, creamy, airy, soft crumb, and the the crust ended up being nice, crisp, crunchy, very lovely. Here's our three finished tiro loaves.